DJ Ferris. Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. He back. Only one is pulling shit. Fuck up the. Let's get a sports talk. We've been so trained to talk about just a handful of programs in regards to the college football playoffs. So Stephen wants to know, do you see a new team in the playoff this year? If so, which team or teams do you think have the best chance? Yeah, I, I, I think uh, I go down to the SEC and, and coach's former team, the Florida Gators. And, and what Dan Mullen has done there has just been terrific. You know, they won 11 games last year. And, you know, a couple big reasons this year. Florida can, because they got trash coming back. They have a good offense. They have a solid defense. It just, that's the main thing in sports. It's consi- consistent. That's the main thing in sports. Florida will start out good and at least lose, what, two games? And then it, it, it shake up the, the, uh, the playoffs for them. Like, you know, in college, you can't lose more than one game. If you lose one game, you can get in there. But you lose two, you're not going to be able to get in there. You want to play in a in a, in a top bowl, not, not the playoffs. And Florida just need to be consistent this season. You know, they, they was a very solid team this year. But they start out good. Then they go like a two-game ski. And then it, it hurt their chances. Of getting in the playoffs. That's all it is for Florida. Because Florida can make the playoffs this year. They got a tremendous quarterback back in Kyle Trask, who will, remember, he took over a few games in for, or for Felipe France. He gets another year under his belt. He's a senior. He's a great leader. He's got a great supporting cast around him. We know they've recruited well every single year. And then you just look at the schedule. You know, they get LSU at home, they don't play Alabama. Um, and, you know, this is a team that's just primed. You know, they get Georgia after a box. So I think the Florida Gators are ready to take that next step, compete with Georgia in the East, and then get to an SEC championship game and maybe play a Bama or an LSU. I like Florida this year to maybe sneak into the college football playoff. I love that. I mean, I, you, you saw my number one team, Matt. I, I love that Florida of, of teams that have never been before. Because, listen, we could say Georgia and, uh, you, you know, someone like that. But Florida certainly has got a great chance. Uh, I love their quarterback. All the things that you mentioned, you're, you're spot on. i just throw out there, Penn State, guys. I mean, Penn State, you, you know, as we are talking to Coach Franklin, they, they've got a lot of things back. We didn't even get into their defense all that much. And yet their coordinator, Brent Pry, is one of the more respected coordinators throughout football. In fact, when I ask a guy like Ryan Day, who's an offensive guru, I would call him, who's just an excellent offensive mind, who are the best defensive coordinators out there? Who are the ones that give you the most problems? On a list of five, Brent Pry is going to be on there. So you know their defense with Micah Parsons, their coordinator back. is. Going- yes, Penn State is another top team. But they had to get past Ohio State. I feel like Denver is the big dogs in that conference that you had to get past. It's Ohio State in the Big Ten. Only way that you could get to a Big Ten championship game in the playoffs, every day had to go through Ohio State. They had to take them out to take over, get in that, that driver's seat. They have to take them out. Because the day they they been there. I stay been in the playoffs. And you have to take them out. That's the only way. You beat them, that opens everything up for them. They can walk in that door and have an opportunity to play in the Big Ten Championship and have an opportunity to play in the playoffs. Going to be strong. They're one of the top defenses in the country last year. So Penn State, watch out for them. Plus, think about it from the schedule standpoint. Coach, you know exactly how hard it is to go on the road in the Big Ten at the big boy places and win. Penn State's had a heck of a time trying to win at Michigan. In fact, when they've gone there, they've been blown out. So they're going to get the benefit of playing with no fans there. I think that's going to neutralize that out. Now, they get Ohio State without the benefit of a whiteout, but then they also get the benefit of going to Virginia Tech. So I think the schedule plays in their hands. I think Penn State could be a team that we're looking up at the end of the year, and if they were able to nip Ohio State, win the division, and win the Big Ten, it would wind up in the playoff in my eyes. 
And I see that Florida helmet over your shoulder this week, Coach. That's noticed. I see that orange and blue. Looks good. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of Follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Hey, thanks.